are linked list why so because the last node is containing address of the first node right so this thing the creation we have already discussed how to implement this circular linked list in the previous video you can check out that video in this i button as well as how to traverse the list or you can see how to display the content of this list that also we have discussed in that video in this video we will see how to insert a data in a circular linked list insertion at beginning insertion at end and insertion at any specific position so first of all we will see how to insert a new node at beginning of the list see we are not having any head pointer so uh, we, we don't have any idea which node is the first node but here still we can find out which is the first node the address of the first node how as we know in circular linked list always the last node is containing address of the first node this this would be the address of the first node and we have a pointer to the last node that is tail pointer so you can say tail of next this is what address of the first node right so now to insert a node at the beginning first of all obviously we are going to create a node and how to create a node that we have already discussed this is how you can define your own data type how you, you can say how to represent a node this thing we have already discussed many times here i am maintaining only the tail pointer so now i am defining a function insert at beginning fine so obviously we are going to create a new node for inserting that node here so for that what that method the dynamic memory allocation will be used and uh, so in that case you will have to declare a pointer that is new node pointer and this new node pointer is going to store address of that newly created node and how to allocate memory to newly created node using malloc function and uh, whatever the malloc function will return that address we are going to store in this new node pointer so i guess this syntax we have discussed many times in the previous video so this is how we have created at this this new node and user has entered the data that is 7 and here in the next part we have uh, inserted 0 it means it is not pointing to any node and this pointer is a new node this node is containing this address that is 600 fine this concept we have discussed many times so now i want to insert this node here at the beginning of this list right so now first of all you can check if the list is empty in that case what you will do how you will check we don't have any head pointer we have only tail pointer so here you can check if tail is equal to is equal to zero it means there is no node in the list and then this node would be the first and last node in the list right so how you will insert this thing also we have discussed how you will do this thing suppose there is no node we have only tail pointer and tail is containing zero and we have created this node so what you will do this would be the first node so now tail would point to this node only and this is the last node also so here you can say in tail we will store what this this address that is new node so now in tail 600 would be stored so now tail would point here one more thing in circular list the last node would contain address of the first node so this is the first and last node so this node this this will contain address of itself so now here we will store 600 so now how to access this part new node next or you can say uh, the tail of next tail of next is equal to new node right this is how you can insert the very first node or you can say if list is empty then you can write down the, these line else if list is not empty now suppose this is the case we have four node in the list and i want to insert this node here now what you will do now you you have to update what first of all here in this address part this address this pointer should contain address of the next node that is 100 here i want to store 100 right and tail would point now after inserting this tail would point here so here you will store address of this that is 600 now here how you will come to know that which node is the first node and what is the address of the first node because obviously before that first node i want to insert this one right so i will store that address here only one way is there the last node next pointer is containing address of the first node right so first of all update this thing how to access this part you can say new node next here i can write new node next is equal to tail of next how you can access this part pointer to this node is tail tail of next now see here now tail of next 
is containing 100 so here I have stored 100 now this is pointing to this node now this become the first node but this is not done yet you have to change this part also because last node is going to contain address of the first node that is 600 so here what you will write in tail of next we will store the 600 from where I can get 600 in the new node pointer we have 600 now that is done now this is pointing to this node right here now I have 600 right and now this is done that is the insertion at the beginning of circular link list and now if you want to check that you have inserted correctly or not then what you can do the same funda here after this else before closing this uh, this function here I'll close this function before this closing this function you can write you can print what print f percentage d what you can print see tail next tail of next means this address 600 means we have reached till this address and data tail of next data is 7 so it should print 7 because this is now the you can say the first node so it should print 7 right this is how you can check now we will see how to insert data at the end of the list so now suppose we have created this node having data 10 right and address is 700 so this address the 700 address would be stored in new node pointer and now I want to insert this node here insert at end so in this code what you need to change see here I have uh, changed what insert at end same you are going to declare one new node pointer using malloc dynamic memory would be allocated to that node the address would be stored in new node pointer we will ask from the user using printf and scanf right the data and all and if tail is equal to 0 then 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 this same line would be written fine same code would be there but there is a difference in else part only right now in else part what you will write see now if you insert this part this node here three things you need to update first thing is now this is going to be the last node so here the last node should contain address of the first node that is 600 this is our first node right so here you will update what here you will write 600 right second thing now this node is containing address of the next node that is here you will update 700 third thing you will update what now this this is the last node so in tail pointer also we are going to store what is uh, the address of the last node that is 700 three things you have to update but you have to take care which pointer you need to update first see here i want to store address of the first node right this one 600 and there is only one way to get address of the first node this because we are not maintaining any head pointer right so this is now address of the first node that is 600 because last node is containing address of the first node and this is the last node right now so before updating this pointer you need to take out this address and store here because if you update this thing first if you uh, if you have written like this tail of next is equal to new node means you have inserted here 700 means this node is pointing to this node now now there is no way you can get the address 600 from where you will get 600 right so now first of all update this thing and how you will update this thing how you can access this part new node next so in else part you will write new node next is equal to tail of next that is here now 600 we have stored 600 right so now the thing is now this node is pointing to this node right this line would be same second second thing what you need to update this one so how you can write this thing tail of next tail of next is equal to which address i want to store this address 7 700 so from where i can get this address in new node pointer is equal to new node so now here i have 700 right so now this is not pointing to the first node this is pointing to the last node right third thing you need to update now before closing this else here what you will write now you need to update this tail pointer also now tail would be containing address of the last node so here third line what you will write tail is equal to new node in new node we have 700 now tail is also containing 700 now tail is pointing to this node right and now you can close else block right these three lines you have to write in else block right same as inserted beginning just this line you have to add extra
fine and if you want to check you want to cross out then after this else you can uh, obviously print in printf you can write printf percentage b and this thing tail next data right so tail next means 600 so data at 600 is 7 so 7 should be printed so this is how you can insert at end position now we will see how to insert at any specific position so now i want to insert a th this node a newly created node at position suppose 3 means 1 2 and 3 here after this before this one right so here in this case see if position is 1 in that case 1 means here only you want to insert 1 means at the beginning only so in that case if position is 1 you can call that function insert at beginning right or second thing you will check position is valid or not suppose in this case position is 6 now is there any position 6 1 here is position 1 here is position 2 position 3 position 4 but no position is there that is 6 so that should print invalid position fine so you will uh, check the length of the list length of the list is 4 1 2 3 and 4 so if position is less than 0 or greater than this 4 then it should print invalid position right now maybe you can say ma'am if position is 5 then also i can insert here it means we can call insert at end so you can uh, implement that concept also but here i'm uh, considering what if position is less than uh, 1 and greater than this length it means that position is invalid right so now obviously we are we are going to create this node we need a pointer that is new node and as well as we will ask from the user at which position he wants to insert right to store that position also we need uh, another variable you can say position right and suppose user has entered position is 3 means 1 2 and 3 here i want to insert so i have to reach till this position now so you have to traverse this this list so for traversing also we need another pointer to node because this new node is containing address of new node one pointer tail is containing address of the last node we cannot move this tail so we need we need another pointer you can say temp pointer for this traversing to reach till this position right so now we will ask from the user for the position like this using printf and scanf suppose user has entered here we have a position variable and user has entered position is 3 for traversing also we need one another uh, variable that is i suppose we are initializing i is equal to 1 now first step is calculate this length and for that you can uh, create a function in the in this program only get length function and that function will uh, return the length of this list and that we can call that function in this uh, function only that is in create at position only and we can suppose get length is a function that will return the length of this list and we are going to store that in variable l so here i am going, going to declare one variable l also right and we also check now if our position is less than 0 or position is greater than this l it means here you can print invalid position in printf you can write invalid position right this to calculate this length of this list that code is very easy if you want me to uh, explain how to calculate the length of the of the list then you can comment me in the comment box i will provide you the that video also fine now we will check now if position is this means invalid position we cannot insert if position is 7 we cannot insert that is invalid position again we check else if position is equal to equal to 1 in that case means at starting only i want to insert so insert at beginning that function you can call now suppose position is valid and position is not one position is now three so now we have to reach till this position till three so we will tra trace out this we will traverse this uh, linked list till position minus one that is till two here after that i can insert here at third position right and how you will traverse this we have already discussed many times in the previous video also so now in else part now we are going to create this node now we are going to allocate memory to this node see here i have declared only a pointer you haven't allocated any memory to this Be because if position is not valid then no need to create this node if position is one then already that insert at beginning function would be called now you can allocate the memory using malloc function right so now this is how we have allocated the memory to this node dynamically allocated the memory using malloc function 
right new node is a pointer pointing to this node we have asked the uh, for the data from the user the user has entered 7 and here in the next part we have stored 0 now i want to insert this here now we need to traverse right so here i am going to write it i guess this is everybody know how to write down this code so i am going to rub this now see we will traverse the list so for traversing we need to know it, which is the first node we need a pointer to the first node but we don't have any head pointer here so now how we can come to know that which is the first node see in the tail next we know that we always have an address of the first node right so here what i can write another pointer i have taken that is temp so here temp in temp i can store what tail of next right so here i have temp pointer and what is the value of tail of next see tail of next is having 100 so now this is pointing to this node means now we can say temp is pointing to this first node right so you can say temp is now a head pointer now we can traverse so we will write a while loop while this i we have taken one variable that is i i is less than position minus one till then we will move this temp temp is equal to temp of next right and we will do i plus plus and we will close this while loop now as you can see i value is what one and starting we have taken one now see one is less than position minus one position minus one is two so one is less than two yes now temp is equal to temp next so what is the temp next temp of next means 200 so that would be stored in temp now temp becomes 200 now temp is pointing to this node right and i plus plus now i becomes 2 now again 2 less than position minus 1 that is 2 2 less than 2 no that uh, condition is not true so we are not going to enter into this loop we are not going to move this temp now see we have reached till position minus 1 because after this only i want to insert now position third here only right so now what you need to update you are going to update two things now first thing is what we will update this link this node is now containing address of the next node that is here i want to store 250 right and this is going to contain address of the this node that is 150 here i want to store 150 right so these two links i want to establish this one and this one and we are going to break this thing this is how you can insert so now which link you will update first see first we will update the right link this one this one because if you updated this link first suppose you have updated here 250 how to access this part temp of next is equal to new node that is here we have 250 now so now here i want to store 150 now from where i can get 150 from here only i can get 150 but this link we have updated already so first of all before updating this set the right link first so update this thing so how you can update that link that is new node next see new node next means this this part i am accessing this part here i want to store 150 150 address of next node from where i can get 150 here i have 150 so how, how you can access this part using this temp pointer temp of next right now here i have 150 so now this is pointing to this node now you can update this thing so how you can access this part temp of next temp of next what i want to store here 250 uh, sorry address of this node because this is going to be the third node now from where i can get 150 new node i have 150 right and after that you can close this insert at position function right sorry first of all else after that this one this function fine so now here i have 250 so this link is no more now and this is now pointing to this node and now you can call these function into that main function insert at beginning insert at end and insert at any position fine as well as create a link list and display link list that uh, two functions we have already discussed in the previous video right so this is how you can insert in a circular link list and if you maintain both head pointer and tail pointer then i guess it is uh, very easy to insert any data uh, in the circular link list insert at beginning also at end and at any position fine so i guess no need to explain that code fine so now i'll see you in the next video in next video we'll see how to delete data from a circular link list, fine. So till then, bye-bye, take care.